On Craig Casey, was there any, anything at fault from, from uh, Snayman's tackle at all, or, or was it all a fair game? He follows through with the tackle. I, I think you look at you look back at that again and you review it, and it's it's uh, the argument is certainly there as to why don't you stop? You know, you don't have to keep following through there, um, particularly. And it, it shouldn't come into it, but it should in one sense because he's he, a small guy. He, he knows him. He's not okay, a, or because he knows him. Okay. It's not. He knows him. He's played with him, and there's a massive difference in size and physicality. So you think he'd have a little bit of sense to say, well, you know, maybe I won't, won't keep going here. But look, um, I can't blame R.G. name and and say, you know, that's illegal. There, there is no review of it as regards uh, foul play. So, just a bit unsavory that he could have pulled back a little bit. Um, you know, so look, he's he's he doesn't have to. Um, I I didn't see too many of this. You know, I think the music and all the stuff that was going on around was a bit disappointing in a sense that, um, you know, when he's receiving that treatment, he was in this. It looked pretty serious. serious yeah. It looked pretty serious for a few minutes. But look, again, it's there's no blame game here to, against the crowd or South Africa or anybody. But it would have, um, and thankfully he was okay. So people are talking online, I see a lot of it, and, and uh, this narrative is driven all the time online, isn't it, that R.G. Snyman didn't really, uh, it was probably, he could have pulled back, but he hasn't done anything there to try and hurt the player. I think he follows through the tackle, and I think it's more awkwardness. He did one on Ben Healy, didn't he, in the URC there, um, in around 17 or 18, I think, I can't remember which one, it was over in Edinburgh, where he follows through with the tackle. Ben Healy reacted to him and Munster ended up getting a penalty out of it five metres out, which was uh, a big call. So, um, yeah, thankfully he's OK, but he's not going to be available for, for, for the weekend, which is another um, disappointment for 